Welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun Lost Age. I'm Nye, and I have a new commentator with me. This is Trance. Hello. So Trance doesn't exactly remember exactly where we are. So he's gonna be kind of remembering. It's got boats. It's you know, there's boats. something to be said for boats. They're square, and they float. What more could you ask for? Well, for the people who own the boats and use it not to be pirates would be a uh, definite plus. Are ye kidding me, lass? Or lad? Or lass that dresses like a lad? Final Fantasy 7, not 7, 5. What the hell is wrong with me? Reference for the win. Uh, I'll be honest, prior to this LP, I did not know it was even possible to go into these boats. I tried, well, it, on, I tried it on a whim. You know what they say. If you can't go into the boat, you shouldn't bugger a goat. I just got a Viking helmet. I didn't even remember this was an item. Interestingly enough, Viking helmets did not actually have horns on them. Though the rounded, you know, studded design is perfect, the horns themselves were merely ornamental helmets, due to the fact that in combat they could be used to grab on and snap someone's neck. Wow. So as you can see, as we uh, walk through the village, people are just singing Briggs' praises. So even though he's a complete and utter asshole who steals shit, apparently well, he's an epically good guy. Perhaps there's more to him than meets the eye. Well... I mean, there is and there isn't. That's the problem with Briggs. Well, he could be a kleptomaniac who donates all his proceeds to children with cancer. Is there something wrong with that? Hmm. That's a good question and way too deep for SLP. Indeed. So instead, I will ask you this. Do you think Briggs enjoys BLTs? From what I understand, he enjoys eating in the first place, which is why he stole all of this crap. Then he's a hero to me, by gum. Does this guy have anything <clears throat> actually good? Um, actually, I believe so. That, uh, that fiery-looking axe was quite nice. At least, if I'm remembering right from my old playthrough. That thing? Yeah, yes, the blow mace. It's got... I'm almost positive it's got one of those really badass unleashes. It does. Unfortunately, it's about 12 levels out of date. Ah. Uh, who needs agility? Agility is a very important stat. Mm -hmm. And I completely I, apparently forgot to use that mint at some point. I think Piers likes it more than the other characters do. But well, that's could... naturally really slow. Right. It's really a matter of, do you want to patch up your weaknesses, or enhance, you know, your strengths? People, uh, I've actually made fun of Vitellia for patching up my weaknesses. But I'm just not the type of person who can put all the stat bonuses on one single character. Well, yeah, that that's kind of weird. I've never gotten that. I mean, what's the point of having one guy who can punch a hole in existence when the big bad evil goon just casts death on him and then you're boned, you know? Yeah. That's kind of the reason why, I, like, people have talked to me about doing Pokemon runs where you only use one Pokemon and it's your starter. Oh dear. I've been uh. spotted. Uh oh. Felix is here to finish you off. Oh, what is that? Felix is here? I've got to get out of here. Ah, that's Quick, funny. put a cardboard box over your head. I think I'd still be spotted in this game. Uh, yeah. I did. I put. I put a uh, wooden box over someone else's head in a previous episode. Yes. I seem to recall that. You've been actually keeping up with the Lost Age, because that was during this particular LP, not uh, Golden Sun One. I've played it. Remember? Oh, I thought you said you remember seeing me do it. Oh, okay. No, I 
I may have misstated. Don't mind me, I'm currently high on cough medicine. Woo! I guess I want to go in. I have no idea what a masher is, but okay, you know, that, that's fine. Slang. For... Jerkwad. Oh, okay. Dude. Well. Random schmuck. But I'm none of those things. Well, as far as they're concerned, you're a random schmuck. That would be a great band name. Random schmuck. Exactly. Oh, come on, you jerk. Stop, like, uh, stop hiding things. I have places I need to go, things I need to do. Now I'm being insulted. And threatened. Like, apparently I'm the bad guy here. I just don't get that. <laughs> well, do keep in mind you were following the path of evil from the first game. You're gonna have to explain that one to me. I don't remember following no path of evil. What you're currently doing is attempting to light all the lighthouses, is it not? You don't remember. Uh, right. We haven't revealed that yet. Hold it. I didn't say anything. We'll talk about that later. Yes, it was merely a case of future sight caught in our friend there's throat. Yep, more or less. Hey, look, it's a gigantic pit. God, it's full of stars. The stars are spelling out something. Rosebud killed Dumbledore. Huh. So if people who are listening to the, to the uh, music, which Trans unfortunately can't do, would notice it's kind of ominous sounding music. Everybody knows what that means. This time, the old lady must kung fu fight. <laughs> this guy, he is such a dick. <laughs> Reasonable boys live longer. So if I go back... That's ominous. Yep, it's a boss fight. Uh, this can only end in tears. Right, I'm cross. Uh, I'm a uh, cross classing. That right. I I, f I forgot I was doing that. So yes, it is exactly right. This can only end in tears. I can't remember half the class moves I, I have. Let's see. I know this thing is fire-based. It is also very ugly. Extra incredibly ugly. Woohoo, I actually landed to sleep. That's amazing. Wait a minute. Status effects? Functioning? I know. What sorcery is this? Apparently this guy gets two moves around. Crap. Ah, yeah. That is one of the notable traits of the Golden Sun line. Uh, often bosses will get two to even three moves to yours. It's to make up for having less than perfect boss AI. But really, it's an interesting change from other games where it's just I attack, you attack, I attack, you attack. Well, remember, my usual crap, my usual way of um, fighting bosses is to gen storm, mm -hmm. or almost summon storm. <clears throat> so this is one of the first boss fights I've done where I am specifically just casting. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not using uh, gen, I'm not summoning, I'm just keeping my stats up. Well, the alpha strike tactic, as you use... <laughs> 
is often viable for early game, it doesn't hold up late. I've beaten the game multiple times using that strategy with only minimal risk. I actually, uh, in the Let's Play Golden Sun 1 I did, uh, I beat the hardest boss in the game with very little trouble using an Alpha Strike uh, skill. Now, oh. like, I lost one or two, uh, I think one party member went down throughout the entire fight. I brought them back up with very little trouble. Well, perhaps you are higher leveled than I? Or, as is more likely, I just suck. Well, I won't. I won't deny it was like it was a little nerve-wracking at time to time. But the art style in this game is so interesting. It almost looks like claymation, except in not some quite. cases. Yeah, I, I I really do agree with that. You know, it could just be a pixelated image of a claymated model, which. Would be a very would be interesting, really technique. freaking cool. Huh. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna call it demon. Why not? Because this sounds like a fantastic idea, right? Well, uh, calling demons does tend to involve, you know, calling freaking demons. It, it's this is something that doesn't tend to end well for any of the involved part yet. Well, so you did 226 damage, but that poor character's soul is now going to wherever the hell souls go, if souls go anywhere indeed. Well, remember, Piers is a, a necromancer right now. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm using the uh, I'm using the subclasses. I'd much prefer a necromancer. Summon delicious candy wafers. Mm. Would a necromancer be a summons cats? No, no, CCO, not KO. No. It's, I mean, that was a context thing, really. Man, Jenna is one hell of a healer with that. The chick is always the amazing healer, but except in Earthbound. Actually, Piers is the dedicated healer for this, uh, for, uh, the, uh, the four in this game. Huh. Yeah. Why do I? Huh? I could have sworn he was the berserker. Oh, he is. He's he's the Mia from this game. He's the Mercury adept, and Mercury is apparently the uh uh yeah that. Fair enough. See, I can't land a status effect for the life of me. Well, you got lucky once, but that'll never happen again. I mean, it is status effects in an RPG being used by the player, yeah. See, if I had done Gin Storm, I actually would have uh, won by now. That's the thing. Yeah, but would it have really been a victory? Or would it have just felt cheap? No, it would have been a victory. I, I can say that without a problem. There we go. <coughs> Woohoo, lots of experience and a potion. Yes, I beat your salamander. Is that what the kids are calling it these days? Apparently. Uh, you know, there's a euphemism in this picture somewhere, but I just can't think of it. Can't either. Well, what you need is to get some Synergy hands on either side of any way. Yeah, we're not going to go there. Indeed. Let us discuss something much more pleasant, shall we? The Golden Sun series as a whole has a couple notable traits. One, it was one of the first games on the GBA to use this semi-3D artwork, which, though they do look like 3D models, are in fact multiple animated sprites. Not exactly uncommon, but... an interesting idea nonetheless. Hasn't often been seen in modern times, either. Man, this old woman is frightening. They do tend to be. Don't worry, you won't catch a case of the old from her. This is one of those, like, Yubaba women. God, here's his wife again. His wife has some of the weirdest morals. Oh, 
Well, it all depends on the individual as to what could be weird or not. While they may be weird to you, to them they're perfectly normal. Who can say what is truly odd in this world? than being a silent protagonist. Wait. Although, has he ever actually said anything? Not in this game. Mm. I like to think in other games with silent protagonists that he really is never saying anything, and it's just the other people sticking words in his mouth, and he's just kind of going along with it, because... Actually, they do that quite frequently in this game. Well, fair enough. Fair enough. We don't know why we're here, because you haven't given us that quest yet. Ah, someone's been sequence breaking? Um, there is no real sequence at this point in the game. Uh, once you get out of Al Hafra, once you leave the mainland and actually get onto the ship, the game kind of has m multiple sequences that you can follow. And uh, I've been kind of going a little bit of everywhere. There was well, some sequence breaking, and I kind of paid for it, too. Ah, what ended up happening? Did you get the really annoying glitch? Oh, no, 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 not at all. Uh, I, um... I went to, uh, the, uh, the Tundaria Tower to get a gym, but all the enemies were some, like, eight levels higher than me. So every battle took forever, and I ended up gaining, gaining like, eight levels a person. <laughs> You say that like it's a bad thing. Well, it took up an entire episode, I mean. Eh. See you above. So, for those who are curious, yes, these are pieces to a trident. Nixu was right. And the lucky thing is, it's a legendary trident. And she will hold on to the pieces for me, so that way we don't have to uh, keep them in our inventory. Really? You're gonna fall for that scam? Thankfully, in this case, it's not a scam. Sure. Okay. Hey, guys, look. Aren't those six stones arranged in a circle? And this is all it does. This is all that's here. Wow. There's just a small little bridge right here, and it does nothing else that I can remember. Ah, but oh, can no, you no, turn no, no. off the it there? Uh, I, I just did. It pops you back to the edge. Actually, uh, no, uh, that actually does have a purpose. There is a reason it's there. But for now, it's just kind of funny that it doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, well, now they're not barring us from going places, so you can go and talk to people. Oh, crap. Nope, don't want to blow up the kid. One second. That's horrible! Oh, my son isn't feeling well. Boom. That's okay. Here, kid, eat this grenade. Ah! <coughs> so there's some sort of cave and some sort of jewels, and uh, Briggs is not telling us about them, which means he doesn't want us to have them, which means I want them. So let's go figure that out. All I can say about that? Mind read. Such a violating synergy. Yes, yes it is. You can't keep secrets from me. Actually, back when you first learn it with Ivan, when he's first like uh, trying, we were first trying to figure it out. Man, some of the cutscenes. He's well, doing it again. Quick! Don't let him touch me! Don't let him touch me! 
that's basically it. No, that's really what it is. Mind reading in these games, it's an allegory for violation of people rectally. That's why it's delivered via a bad touch. No, that's Borderlands 2. Yeah, but is the bad touch really so bad in Borderlands 2? I submit no, that it is. Not. Apparently, it's really good. But wouldn't that make it a good touch? Nope, that's a different item altogether. And now that we've thoroughly confused the viewers... Except for those who actually played the game. Yes, that's true. We must confuse them too. Hmm. How may we go about this? Ah, I know. Viewers, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop without a tongue? Anyways, okay, before we cut the episode, because there's been a crap ton of, of uh, storyline, we're going to have another cutscene, because I completely forgot about this one. Hi, Alex. Yes, we've come to despise you. You're a dick. He's not a dick. He's just... Yeah, he is a dick, huh? Oh, hey, look. We just met. Wait. We saw her a long time ago. Nixu had us read her mind. Oh, look. It's a dude we don't know. He looks like a Power Rangers reject. Honestly, he looks like a sumo wrestler to me, but like a sumo wrestler hero person. That's Agashio. That even sounds like a Power Rangers reject name. It... Oh, hi, I'm Agashio. I, I tried to be a villain in the Power Rangers, but they wouldn't let me. So, so now I'm in this game. This is Agashio and Karst, and due to the music, you guys can tell they are not good people. The fact that they, uh, the fact that Karst is Minardi's sister, should tell you a lot. That's a chick. Ah, the limitations of a sprite-based system. Oh no, the guy, the guy in the le that's a guy on the left, on the right with the long red hair. That's a girl. Oh, I was. Confusing her with the blue haired dude up top. The blue haired dude up top is Alex. Fair enough, fair enough. God, these guys are so passive aggressive. Understood that phrase, passive aggressive. That doesn't make sense. I'm gonna rip your lungs out if you don't mind. If it wouldn't be too much trouble. It didn't make no sense. Alex again being a manipulative asshole like he has been for a while. He's a villain, what do you expect? Tea and crumpets? I love that Alex just like, yes, you're both idiots.
Yep. Yep, that is correct. Lord Babby is dead. May he rest in pieces. Given how much of a dick he was, yes. Wasn't he the fellow that grew to be like nine trillion years old, drinking the Moria goop? That's correct. Yeah. What they say, you can only live so long before you get a lethal case of the old. Not what I said, damn it. Well, for those who couldn't really tell, our next goal is to get to Lemuria, but in order to do that, we have stuff we gotta do. So, in next episode, we're going to be doing a little bit of backtracking, because there's an area that I needed to parch to get into to get something nice, and then we're going to our next dungeon. I'll see you guys in an episode.